Welcome back to Bolt Action Bunker and this is part two of how to build some walls for your tabletop. Welcome back. Now this is part two of uh, how to build some walls for your tabletop. So let's get straight in and finish this uh, video off. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now all the uh, sand is dried on the walls and uh, it's all, all ready to undercoat them. So I'm going to paint these up. I've got uh, an airbrush, so I'm going to use, uh, use that. And I'm just going to undercoat them with uh, the Vallejo undercoats, which uh, this one's a, a grey. So I'm going to go with grey. And this is my technical spray booth. Let's just put a bit of this in. And uh, just undercoat these up. So it's not a very dark colour. I'm probably going to want one or two coats of this on here. finish these off and I'll show you them all grey. Okay so that's all our walls now base coated in the grey. Uh, they look quite good already. So um, all I want to do now is pick out a few colours what I want to do with them in. Um, like I say that was the one that I'd done a long time ago. And that looked quite good, that looked good on the table, that's like a, a beige colour with the uh, grey tiles, so that looks quite effective. Um, I might actually do the tiles on these ones, I might actually go with a with a reddy colour I think, um, just to make them stand out a little bit more. But, uh, I hope you can see the sort of detail on them where we can do, do a bit of dry brushing, it'll make that pop out really both sides um, the little bit of sand I put on there just gives them a bit, a bit of texture they look quite good nice and easy to make so uh, I'm going to pick some colours out and then we'll do the painting ok the walls are nearly dry and uh, all I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to go with grey and do the grey tops I'm going to do all the tiles grey um, I've got a match pot um, I think they were from Wix it's just a grey matte emulsion so um, you know they're really good for doing terrain with sometimes you need to water them down be doing your terrain with match pots emulsions and that type of stuff but for this I'm just going to use it straight out the can and uh, just start painting these up I've done one and it looks like I'm going to need to put a couple of coats on it so uh, I'll show you this one, just go along, get a nice coverage on it, get in between the card, best you can, and you want to do the edges as well, I'm just sort of forcing a little bit of paint down there into those corrugations. Like that. 
Hold on. Do the underneath as well. Doesn't matter if you go on the wall, because we're going to do the wall a different colour in a minute. Just there. Looking good. Don't want no big lumps of paint. Doesn't matter if it's in there. You don't want it on top of the tile if you can help it. I'll just smooth that out. The other side. Just notice I've put a couple of them around the wrong way, but never mind. Doesn't take long. Just get your paint on. Smooth out the top. That's the bit you're going to see. Lovely. And I'll get a few more of these done. And I'll show you the results. Okay, I've now got two coats of grey onto the tiles on top of the walls and now what we're going to do is paint in the wall I've got some uh, cream beige emulsion it's a matte finish and I'm going to do the walls in this colour and then that way we can put a bit of wash on here and get a bit of a uh, bit of dry brushing going as well so I'm now just going to fill this wall in and let's see what that looks like. It might be a fraction light this colour, but we'll see. Um, if it is, it's not to worry. I'll go back over it again with the darker colour and I'll show you what that comes out like. And again, this is just a match pot. Uh, these were just match pots that I picked up from Wix. You know, a tub like that, well, I can't remember what they are now, a couple of quid. These was all reduced, these was all in the reduced bin. Um, I think they were changing their colour schemes, so uh, I think I picked these up for about 20 pence a pot. Um, when you're doing your terrain, they are they are handy. They do come in handy. You can water them down, put them on neat if you want. But just you need the uh, the matte colours rather than vinyl or anything like that. There we go, so uh, now you can just see that. You can see the brickwork that we we added with the card is now on there. And the little bit of sand that we sprinkled on as well. You can see the detail really coming out on that wall. So let's just do another couple. And then I'll get them all done. Again, just go over, nice and easy. It's not difficult, quite a big brush really, for this type of thing. Get that on there. There we go, and you can really see they're coming along. Just like that. Nice and easy. So we've got that effect now. Grey top. And a beige wall. So I'm going to do a few more. And I'll show you the results. Now it's time to start the uh, bases. All the walls are dry. The tiles are dry on top of the walls. So I'm just going to fill in a little bit of brown. Along these bases. So this is actually a burnt umber. Now I bought these ones. Uh, 
these are just acrylic paint water based acrylic paints uh, these ones come from uh, Wilco so in the UK Wilco just a big store um, that's where I got them but this is just a burnt umber I'm just going to go on and do the base along the bottom there get this painted in now if you're matching this up to your board you can obviously do this uh, a green you might want to do it green or whatever you want to do but I'm just going to do mine as if it's dirt uh, there we go Next step, so the walls are dry, the tiles are dry, tiles are grey, walls are beigey colour and um, I've got some brown uh, brown umber paint and I'm just going to do these uh, floor sections in the brown umber. So you can do yours whatever colour you want if you're doing a different colour terrain board and you need it to match your board just do it whatever colour, green or whatever but I'm just going to have mine just brown um, just quickly go along and get these painted in and you can really see they're starting to come in together now there we go the grey walls uh, with a grey tile on top yeah looks good The last one, so we just carry on. Paint the brown on the base, and you can really see these are coming together now. You know, we've only put our basic colours on. <clears throat> Pardon me, we've only put our basic colours on, but even now you can see that they're really coming together. You know, just take your time and you end up with a, some nice bits to go on your board there we go last little bit ah, there we go so that's that done I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then we can start with some weathering. Uh, now our walls are nearly dry so uh, all the ground that we've done is pretty much dry. I'm going to put some shade in now on the walls and on the tile as well. I'm going to use Agrac Earth Shade. So um, I've got a little uh, tub here. I'll take a little drop out, put it on there don't want too much, do a little bit at a time and I'm just going to water that down so it's about 50-50 really just water that down and then start applying that on get that on the wall there you go starts picking out all those lines that we've put on with the card and the sand Along the tiles, put them on the tiles as well. All into those recesses. Along the top of your tile. Yes, there, you can see it's not too strong the Agrac Thirst Shade. I've just watered it down. There we go. Uh, get this side done. Don't take long. They really start building up the effect of what we've put on the side of the wall. There we go.
Okay, so you can see now, all the dark shades are already picking out the edges of everything. So once we start highlighting this, it'll really come to life a little bit. There we go, get it all in there. All in there. Lovely. Okay, it looks a little bit messy, but it'll come together. So, I'm going to do the rest of them, and uh, I'll be back with the results. So, here's just the last one. Just finish this one up, one of the large ones. As you can see, just getting it on there. This is only to pick up all those dark recesses. Once we start putting some highlights on these, it can really clean them up, really. Uh, there we go. Darker on the edges. So as you can see, it don't take long to do them. The, I think the longest bit is just waiting for the paints to dry, really, in between filming them. <laughs> but there we go. Probably going to be it for tonight now. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to finish this off. But I'm working on a few other bits as well, so you might get to see them. As you can see the grey tiles already look pretty good. And once we put some highlights on there, they look even better. Put a little bit darker. Make that just a little bit darker on that top edge. There we go. Ah, lovely. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to leave that there. Let them dry. Um, you can see it hasn't taken too long really it's only the it's only the drying stages that that slows this process down really so um i hope you like that so far and um i'll be back tomorrow finish this off and i'll show you the results now then all our walls are now dry i've put the wash on them we've based them we've done our two colors so they look quite good as they are but now we need to highlight them up and uh, let's hopefully we can improve them uh, along the way. So I've got a few colours here that I'm going to use. I've got a grey and an orange. Um, I've got a couple of uh, Citadel paints but or Games Workshop paints. If you've got a grey and an orange just use what you've got. Uh, I've got a desert yellow, it's an Iraqi sand and a, and a brown tone as well. So that one's uh, medium brown. So they're the sort of colours I'm going to use and uh, let's put some of these on and see the kind of effect that we're going to get on here. To start off with, I'm going to put a little bit of this, this is actually a dry brush, I think this is a dry brush paint. Put that on there. Get some on your brush and then wipe it off. So this is the orange, so we're just going to go nice and gently and pick up just a little bit, not all over the model, just a few places, just giving ourselves just a little bit of orange colour on there. There we go, 
and not too much. It's not all the way along. All right, let's put that on the other side. go over it again in a minute. There we go, so that's our orange on there. And now we've gone orange. I'm going to put a little bit of this grey on. Again, we're just going to dry brush this on. You don't need loads. And then let's just go in, pick up a little bit over the wall. That brush is a bit wet, I think. go. So now we've got two colours on there. It's starting to come along. Now I'm going to go with this brown first. Let's give that a shake. Again just starting off with our dark colours first. And then we'll work our way up to our lighter ones. Uh, not too much. There we go, so the wall's looking really scruffy now. Of different colours on there that you can just about make out. Now let's move on up. Let's see if I've got another brush. Okay, so this desert yellow. Let's try this. Now if you're just going to go on lightly, it doesn't matter if you put a, put a colour on and you don't like it, you can always go back over. It's what you like, really. It's not what I like. It's what you like on your terrain. As you can see, that desert yellow just killing some of the darker, grubby bits, but it's still there. Just brings out a little bit more. colours blended on there, four colours now, all blending on there. It doesn't look flat at all, that wall it looks really nice and sort of popped out, different colours. <coughs> Let's go with this lighter colour. 
So this is the Iraqi sand, so this is the lightest one. Um, for the grey tiles I might go over with an ivory. I'm going to just see what this comes out like. Again, just dry brush this on. Not too mad. You might not like it. You know, you might want to sort of stay darker. Too much on there. There we go. We can just blend that off. Again, if you get a really, if you see that really well, but let's uh, change the colour of that wall again. Again, that's a highlight. I think I will put a little bit of ivory on there as well. Now. I want to just try a little bit on this top tile, see how this colour comes out. Just a nice gentle highlight on the edge, across the top. Just trying to get those edges. looks really good. I'm going to put an ivory on there. I'm going to put that over the top there. Where that is, there we go. Ivory. Just pick up those extreme highlights on this wall, on the side, that tile in, across the top. Too bad. Go, I hope you can see that on there. They look pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to do a few more. And uh, I'll come back when I've done them. So it's the last one. And I'm just putting on the final uh, highlight, which is the ivory. Just so you can see how this does come together. So just go over, just dry brushing again. Just getting it on here. Picking up them highlights on this wall. And it just brings together all those colours that we've already put on there. It just blends them together. There we go. And the tiles on the top. Pick out all those edges. It's looking nice. And like I say, relatively cheap for for terrain. Easy to make. Uh, you know, I'm not quite sure how much you'd get charged for sort of terrain like that in the shop. If you could get it even. There we go. really brought those colours out on that wall. I 
Okay, so all I've done as well, I've just dry brushed the ground. Um, I'm not going too mad with the basing of them because, um, you know, these are just test pieces, pieces to show you guys because my base on my table's green on most of it. There we go, so that's all the painting done. Uh, they're pretty good. So uh, let's move on. And we'll put a little bit of greenery on there. Okay, let's get the next step going. Okay, so now we're going to put some greenery on our walls just to bring it out that little step further, make them look a little bit better. So I've got some super glue, I've got some Woodland Scenics uh, bushes, so um, they come in big tubs, you can buy them in smaller packets as well. So that's that sort of stuff, this sort of foliagey sort of stuff, spongy kind of gear. I've got a couple of different colours. I prefer the other colour. I don't particularly like that dark green but every now and again put a little bit on and I've got some uh, grass tufts just get them on eBay one of the cheapest places or your hobby shop uh, so I've got some of those and I bought a sheet of green grass exactly the same as tufts except it was on a sheet I've broken a little bit off and you can just break bits of this off uh, as you want so let's go and put some on here so first of all, I want to put just a little bit of grass along the bottom. So super glue. I don't think you've got to use super glue with the dots. They come, they come self adhesive, but I do. Look at that. That's great. Um, and as when I'm always super gluing, I tend to get more of myself than anywhere else. So let's get some of these on. And I have. I've got it everywhere there. Just there, like that, and a little bit of this green foam to make bushes. So you can see it's coming along already, just a little bit. Now what I want to do up this side here, I want to make a bush that comes up the wall, as if it's climbing up the wall. So start off at the bottom with your bush. Now this sort of stuff just breaks up into clumps, so get yourself a decent couple of clumps for the base. There we go. There we go, so that's on there. And then I'm just going to climb this up and across the top there. And again, just using my super glue, just going to clump that on the edge. Have this wall. You can see how effective that looks on that wall now. It's really brought it out. And then we'll turn it over and do a little bit more on this side. Uh, just a few dots on the floor. I quite like these sort of dry colour grasses rather than the bright green ones. But if your base is a static grass, you know, put some static grass on here as well. 
a little bit of time now makes these so much better. So what I want to do is where these tiles are angled across the top here, right across here, I'm going to put some greenery. Okay, so like I did this side with the bush going up here, I want to put a bush just growing, a little bit of green growing across the top there. One, it hides the foam board up. And two, it will just look nice. There we go, stick this on here. There you go, just across the top of the wall. Get that kind of effect. Looks good. A little bit more, I think. And we can probably call it a day on that. Okay, I'm liking that. That's really good. I'm going to do the rest and I'll show you the uh, outcome. Right, so that's the last one. So let me just show you putting the last bits on. Um, same stuff again. Glue on. So sort of just a recap really of what we've been over. Spread some of this out. You can, you know, it makes the wall really come to life. takes it to that sort of next level bit. We've put enough effort into making them, so let's just do the best we can. Now this uh, Woodland Scenic stuff, you can buy it on eBay as well, or your local model shop if you haven't got any, or if you're wondering where it come from. Uh, you know, it's all for model railway sort of gear. And you know, they've been doing this for years, the old model railwayers. So what we've got to do is just copy what they're doing up the scale a little bit. There we go. Just one more, last little bit. A little bit of grass over this end just to make that nice there we go okay so all the walls are now done let's just have a little closer look um, how they all come out I'm really pleased with them they come out really nice hope you guys enjoy them uh, simple to make really effective and um, you know they're really nice pieces of terrain really they come out really nice. Please with them. They're all on both sides as well. Let's just have a little look at the both sides. There we go. Move them on there. And the green bushes and the grass, the static grass, really does bring them out. So hope you enjoyed that one make sure you tune in subscribe ring the bell leave some comments if there's anything you'd like me to build then um, you know leave a comment and I'll have a look see if I can do it and um, off to the next project so thank you very much see you all soon now that's all finished and I uh, hope you really enjoyed that. They, they come out really well, the walls. Um, you know, make sure you leave some comments down below if you liked them, if you didn't like them. If you want to try something different, please let me know. Uh, make sure you subscribe and leave some comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.